What is going on everyone, I'm Adriano and this video is about how to filter your data in a VAX data frame based on specific columns and values. So as you can see here, I'm in my Jupyter Notebook and I've imported the VAX library. I've opened a sample data set from my computer. I've used the open method to bring in my data and assigned it to a variable called df. And as you can see here, I have 146 million records in my data set. And using the head method, I can see my columns and the first five rows. So we're first going to filter our data based on the passenger count in my data set. So I want to find out all my records that are greater than six. So we can filter our data within one line of code. All we're going to have to add is DF or data frame, add the square brackets, and we're going to add our expression to filter our data on. So as I said, we're going to be using the passenger count. So we're going to do DF dot passenger underscore count, and we're going to make that equal to greater than six. So if we give that a run, in our output, we're going to see that we have 588 records that have a passenger count greater than six. And if we take a quick look at our records, you can see that the values are all greater than six. So perfect, that worked. Now, what if we want to filter our data not on one column, but multiple columns? How do we do this? So we're going to have to change our query a little bit. All we're going to have to do is add a curly bracket here for our first expression. And we're then going to add a and. Then we're going to add a second curly bracket, which is going to have our second variable. So let's add payment type equal to two to our filter. So, so we're going to do df dot payment underscore type is equal to, remember it's two equal signs, not one equal sign in Python. And then we're going to make it equal to two. Now, why did I add quotations for two? Well, this field's actually a string. So I want to make sure that I am specifying the string to ensure that this column is going to filter correctly. All right, so let's just give that a run. And now, as you can see here, we only have 154 records returning, payment type is equal to two, and passenger count is greater than six. So according to the developers of the VAX library, the square bracket is the preferred way of doing a filter. I want to talk a little bit about another method that could be used and some cautions around using this. So if you're looking through the API, you might have saw this filter method. So another way to filter your data is using this filter method. So if I would do filter one, is equal to df dot filter. And now we add our expression in. So we can now do df dot passenger underscore count is greater than six. And if we print filter one, you're going to see that we got 588 records, which was the same with using the square brackets with this method here. Now, when we use the filter method, we can actually end up with more records than the specified filter because it actually remembers your original data. And let me just show you what I mean by this. So if I want to filter this further, so I do filter one dot filter, and then I do df dot payment underscore type is equal to two. And if I pass in mode equal to or, and now we're going to assign this to filter two. And now if I print this, we're going to see now we have over 53, 865 million records. Now you're probably saying, well, if we did a filter, there should have only been over 500 records. Why are we getting 53 million? Well, VAX remembers your original data set. So when I did the or, it's actually saying payment type is equal to two or the passenger count is greater than six, not on this filter one, but on the original data set. So, so I'm costing you just to be aware of that if you're gonna use the filter method. And perhaps the more simple way is to just use the square brackets here when you're filtering based on one or multiple columns. So hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to filter your data based on values and columns in a VAX data frame. Thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. See you next time.